Hello there, and welcome to The Wandering Wolf. Um, I'm your host, Mark Rhodes. With me, as always, Mr. Craig Fullwood. Uh, well, that was crap, wasn't it? <laughs> evening, mate. Evening. Hello, um, mate. Oh, first things first, it's good to see you, mate. But, uh, yeah, good to see you too, buddy. Possibly the worst performance I've seen, well, this season. Um, for a yeah. long time, I think it was, uh, well, atrocious. <laughs> From start to finish, There's really. Zero positives to take from that. Literally, it's zero. going to be a short. It's going to be a short stream, definitely, because like, there's nothing. There's nothing to say. Like, I, yeah, I, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Like, we 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 have so bottled it again. Yeah, it was, like, um... like from going from that like euphoric win against Villa and the way we played. I know we had some players missing. We had Pedence missing. Then Donker didn't play. We'll come on to Kundal in a minute, but. Like looking at that team, I, I can't, I couldn't see that, like, where a goal was coming from, really, because I, I thought Fabio Silva didn't have a great game, if I'm being totally honest. Um, uh, I, I nobody did, but apart from Matinho, really. Yeah, Matinho, he didn't deserve to be on the losing side tonight, and like, yeah. we don't deserve him. If we if we play like that, then he should get out, out as quick as possible because Matinho, for me, if he wasn't on the pitch, he would have been four or five. They should have had a goal in the first half when um it was if that was us, we'd be fuming with that offside. Um, yeah, yeah. Against, to be fair, we it, would it, we would it was, it was like harsh. a off. It was, it was harsh, really harsh. Um, to be fair, that was one that I think you know we deserve a bit of that sometimes because we get Well we do, we do definitely but mate. Uh, can you can you honestly say we deserved anything from that game? No, we deserved nothing. nothing. It was so bad that um, like there was no vigor, there was no intensity, there was nothing. It was like we we were texting each other. It's like it's like a testimonial game. Well, we mm. were playing a testimonial game. Like it was just awful. Do you want to play in Europe or don't you? Because it oh, looks it, like you don't. It because, was like nobody. Nobody knew their jobs. Nobody knew their roles. Nobody knew I, what position I, I know, they were supposed to be in. And I know Kundal's a kid. I know Kundal's a kid. But Christ, he was awful. It was awful. So many misplaced passes. Slow, cumbersome. Like nothing going for him tonight. Awful. Um, I thought. I don't think he passed it forward once, did he? It was it, like yeah, it was like a crab. It, like, it was almost like he's. It was almost like you can just imagine, like as a young lad, like. Get your pass completion rate up. Just don't make a mistake. Just do a you know almost faultless performance. But it, it's not what we want. We, you know he should be taking that by the scruff of the neck tonight and trying to just put try his, put his name least, on it. Mate, you could see you could see in Bruno Lars's face like, and it does come down to the manager at the end of the day. And he should have made changes sooner. And I, I agree. I agree with um, uh, Alex. Alex Harris. Hello, everybody tonight. Sorry. Yeah, for, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, yeah, didn't understand why. Yeah. Uh, you know, didn't not, I completely agree with that. But um, like you say, mate, like everybody knows the changes need to be made. They should have been made at half time for me. But it's no good. Wang? Um, How bad does Wang tonight? It, it's so bad. Oh. What, what's the point in large going mental on the sideline and keeping it the same? I agree. I completely agree what's with that. What's the point in waiting 77 minutes to you change got it? Wrong? it? It's you got it wrong. But he does it all. He's, he's got previous for that, and I can't yeah, understand yes, it. Yes, yeah. Wang, Wang was just awful, and and Trinko didn't do a thing. And like the problem, it's it's like we were playing so deep against the Newcastle team. They've lost their last three. I don't yeah. understand. I don't uh, understand the logic of like waiting for them to come on and like and I get this like you know don't concede in the first half an hour away from home. I understand that. I do understand it, but we were so poor on the ball, yeah, consistently giving the ball away, second to the ball. It was like well, there was no passion. There was no like yeah, I, there's no drive, no nothing. We should we should be dominating that game as a top six contender. Yeah, and full of confidence to say, yeah. "Come and get the ball off us." You know, come and this is our game type thing. You know, Newcastle are not anything to be afraid of. Like they once, you know, where well, we should have gone there and absolutely, I think we showed them too much respect. To be honest, of course we um, did. Yeah, 
But why do we do that? Why do we I do that? Well, like we, we bottled it, mate. We bottled it. I know we have players missing. Pedence is a huge loss for us. Uh, Raul Jimenez, uh, you know, as much as I uh, don't think he's up to the standard that we expect of him, mm-hmm. we, missed missed him uh, we missed him tonight. We also missed Dendonker in the middle of the field because he's it. Kundal was he was so bad. He was yeah. so so bad. I think and when Dendonker's not available, you do see it. You do see that. Mate, the absolutely. Leaves, you know? yeah. yeah. When Nevers and Dendonker are injured, like you've got a thirty-five-year-old in the middle, basically propping up the whole of the midfield. Yeah. Like it yeah. was just so bad. Um, Paul, I don't like. Let's not take eight for granted because we've got some really hard games coming up. Like, this was a game that we needed to win. Yeah, yeah, should have Liverpool, City and Chelsea we've got. We've got Burnley fighting for their lives. Brighton is the only game at the moment that I think we'll pick any points up. Like, if we play like that, we ain't beating anybody. But the thing is, how how good have we played recently? And, like, the Villa performance, obviously, fresh, so good. How do we go from that to that in in a matter of days? Because, Because of the high press, mate. We can't we can't cope with a team that presses against us. Mm-hmm. Alice did exactly the same as Newcastle. If you give us time on the ball, we're okay. If you press us at all, we ain't got a clue. Mm-hmm. And it's been that that has been the story of the season. You do yeah. a high press against Wolves, you you will definitely definitely get a, at least a point against Wolves because mm-hmm. we hate it. We we like time on the ball. You could see playing out from the back, like, and it was a penalty. It was a penalty. He got a touch of the ball. If that was, if yeah, that it's was, like a professional, you know, it was, it was, it, it, it should test a penalty. You should test a penalty, but that's, it's a that's penalty. what he's for. That's what he does. That's what, that's what his job is. Yeah. So, and like, if that was silver, then we would be like, that. Yeah, but if silver was clever enough to do that, oh my God, I'd be a lot happier right there. But, uh, and that, yeah. that chance he missed, the header, like, I know, I know afterwards. <laughs> He carved out a chance for himself, but like I think Newcastle absolutely deserved the win. Absolutely, there is no question about it. Like they, that they, they absolutely destroyed us. Graham Griffiths, let's go to that one. Okay. We've gone. We have overachieved this season, but a top half finish is still a great result. Squad's too small for Europe anyway. No. No. I, I, I do get that we have overachieved, but it's it's when when the next step is in in sight and in reach, we're just going completely. That's, what, that's what it's so it's, frustrating. And Luke, cheers uh, for joining again, mate. I the read for Marcel happened at eighty five minutes. That should have happened at half time to inject some life. Eighty five minutes. What's the point? Exactly. I completely agree with that as well. I completely exactly. agree. Well, Neto no, think... um, uh, Campbell at seventy seven, and I the reef. That, those three for me, forty-five were, were the ones apart from Chiquinho, maybe. Chiquinho um, comes on for me at half time. It should have been all at half time. Absolutely, when you've played so poorly, it should have been a statement. To be fair, yeah, that you know things aren't. You, you can actually hold your hands up and say I've got it wrong to try something else. I hope he does because he did. He got it to wrong keep, tonight. Keep doing it. The, keep doing the same thing over and over again is madness. And then it's no good standing on the sideline going mental. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah, so frustrating. So when Neto frustrating. come on, I thought he he tried he tried at least it, you know he injected a little bit of I I don't know whether it's a fitness thing like he can't cope with uh, because if Wang and Neto are available and and Neto's at eighty percent, I play Neto all day. Like Wang for me, I think he played him just because he scored two goals against Newcastle at Molyneux, and it's a completely different team. It's a completely different setup. I think Wang has been absolutely terrible tonight. Like so, he's got, oh, so bad tonight. Like he, he's got it's not on his own, is he? That's the Matt thing. Cooper um, uh, from Talking Wolves said it perfectly. He has got the first touch of a curb. <laughs> <laughs> and right. it's absolutely true. And I laugh my head off, but it's true. It's true. His first touch is so abysmally bad that like I'm going Please, he needs about 10 yards of space whenever he gets the ball. And don't you dare give him the ball if he's facing away from goal. Because he has no idea what to do with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my God. It's just, Frank, for me, I'm not I'm not singling out players because it was a terrible night all the way through the team. 
but Huang, Kundal, uh, Trinkair as well, non-existent. Those three were absolute garbage. And the rest, other than Matinho, who can uh, hold his hand, uh, hold his uh, head up high, uh, everybody else was terrible. Absolutely terrible. And Newcastle deserved more, actually. They shouldn't have been hanging on at the end. Um, yeah. uh, John Bradley, let's go to that one. Um, we deserve so, nothing tonight. Subs should have been made at half time. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, agree yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, Huang, they were both shocking. Trinko. Yeah. Like the the problem what the problem is is that the front three were playing far too deep and I, I just like I, I didn't understand what did they think was gonna happen. Like they were trying to plan the counter attack, but if you're playing counter attack in football, you've got to play it with speed, you've got to be wanting to get forward. Whenever we got the ball, it was just going sideways or backwards, like there was nothing there. There was no, I, I don't know. We needed like a rocket up our ass or something. Mm. It was like the midfielder would get it and we'd look, look forward. There was nothing there. So we played it sideways or back to Cody. Like it mm. was just, I, I, I just like, I just, I don't get it. Alex Harris, let's get that, that one on. I don't understand when Bolly went up front in the last minute of the game and they're still trying to play it on the floor. Put it in the box. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, saying I mean, that now. Well, I think um, was it? I think it's quite early on in the second half and it, I think it was our first corner mm. and we ended up... Playing it short. A fanny short corner and ended up with a throw-in yep. five yards further up than where we started. And now, mate. Like, and like, Co Cody and Bolly had come up and it was all like, just get it in. Like, Mate, doing? I completely, I completely, and, and that pretty agree. much summed up. That was it then. Yeah. I completely agree. That was actually, uh, that's yeah, that and that's it for me. You get your first corner of the game, um, and you try to go backwards or play short, backwards. and uh, yeah. there was lots of that though. There was so much. I mean, Kundal, and I've already mentioned it, but he could not go forward at all. It was he had it to was pass bizarre. It was Marcel. He's like he was playing for statistics. He was like, yeah. you know, oh, I didn't get the ball away though. I didn't get yeah, the ball yeah. away. That's yeah. exactly what it felt like. Yeah, yeah. Just don't give the ball away, so okay. It's just, I don't. Thoughts on Fabio Silva from Peter Johnson? <laughs> oh, Do you want the long version or the short version? Well, let's go the medium version for a minute because um, obviously he's had an awful lot of stick from us in the early days. Yeah, as as everybody. Um, then we kind of came to the conclusion that really, you know, it, it's not all warranted and the price tag isn't his fault and he's he's in a new league and blah, blah, blah. Then he does show start to show a little bit of form and glimpses of what might be in there. And then he goes and plays like he did tonight and it's like, you've got your chance. Um, Raul's I don't out think again. it's all his fault. And I don't think it's all his fault. I think, he, yeah, I think he was probably made to look worse tonight than he was but when he does get those chances like the header like a few you've other got times, at least hit the target if you're gonna make just hit the target how much longer has he got That's... he's like what did they say he's been playing like what was it is it 27 games or something mm -hmm. like crazy like that that he hasn't scored um let's go to the mitchell davis one because we're talking about silver the one at the um above that um, if you're going to play Silver up against Dan Byrne, you need guys who can hold the ball up for him yeah. or even want to take the ball. It made us play the long ball to Silver. Dan Byrne, easiest night of his life. Completely agree. And that's why I wanted to go to this one because I'm, I'm saying like he played, he didn't play well at all, but he, they, we also played it wrong tonight. Like we, yeah. we didn't, like with, with Dan Byrne on the pitch, like, You've got to use your attributes and like Trinko, they kind of went three on one with Trinko and I think it mm. works straight away. But then if you do that, then surely you're giving Huang and Silva spaces to run into. But we we were playing long balls over. Like I've never seen so many long balls from the centre backs into the centre of their defence, which that is it's you know, 
it's food and drink to them, isn't it? Because yeah. Silver ain't going to win a header. You know, Trinkau's not the biggest. And Huang, he was probably like wandering around like, what? <laughs> what, what's happening? Like, he was absolutely terrible. Like, <laughs> like it, it, it's what, one of the worst performances from a Wolves player I've seen for a very long time. Um, yeah, yeah and, and we've already bought him, so we can't even not. Um I think Fabio Silva didn't have a great game, but he didn't really have any service whatsoever. And that's an issue. We do really, really, really need a striker in the summer. It, yeah, it would have been interesting to see if those changes had come earlier, if that would have changed the outcome. Because obviously it's just... Neto should have come on earlier. But it, absolutely, <coughs> it's absolutely chomping at the bit to get on. Um, I yeah. thought Eitnery for Marcel was the right choice. I think Marcel yeah. was under so much pressure. Minutes. 40 and it, minutes. It wasn't the right have. game for him. Um, <coughs> yeah, we'll never know, will we? But it's just disappointing. I think, um, well, we've bottled it, haven't we? We've yeah, bottled it's, it's just so disappointing, isn't it? So, so disappointing. Yeah. So, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. dwell That's on right. personal performances, but really, it was just a collective shower of shite, wasn't it? It uh, was, and now we can do that. better. And it, it's we know the players are better than that, just we know we've got try. players out, but it's. It's just an overall wave of disappointment, I think, tonight. Yeah. I think I think the problem is, mate, is that you have a chance. We could have we could have gone sixth tonight. And you think, wow, like six games left for us. We are in sixth place. Like a real chance of European mm-hmm. competition. Newcastle are staying up. Like Newcastle weren't even that good tonight. They didn't need to be. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, they played some decent stuff in like pretty patterns, but you know the first half it was it was not it it wasn't brilliant football from them, but we made them look like you know Barcelona round nine, yeah. like <coughs> we were just we were so bad. What do you think of um, Maximin? Would you? I don't, there's been a little bit of speculation this week about perhaps Wolves being interested. I know, I know I you know, know my mate. thoughts on this, which are that the Traore fans will be buzzing because they think they're having a replacement, um, a 2.0 Traore. But That's for me, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't give you my laces for him. No, I, I think, I, you know, I, up against our defence, uh, he's he's got the same issue as Traore. I think he's got a better football brain than Traore. I think yeah. he uses the ball better. I think he's a better player than Traore, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. But still, he's... His final, his final ball wasn't great tonight, um, and also, like, don't get me wrong. If you're getting for a decent amount of money, which we we wouldn't, um, but I, I wouldn't have him in, in the squad. Like, not when you can. If we're trying to be frugal with money, like that, that's that's a silly signing for me. That's like just go. That's going backwards. Yeah, not yeah, forwards. I agree. Yeah, um, but it was just so slow. Like the build-up play, it was like, yeah, Alex, yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, I think, I think, the, the conspiracy theorist in me, like, says it's too expensive to get uh, to get into European competition for Fausen. Like, I don't know, like, like uh, no, I, d- I don't believe that. I think no, um, I don't believe it. I'm just trying to make excuses for a crap yeah. performance, but like, I think, it, was, I think. It's very simple. He just got the wrong. Just got it wrong. He did. He got it he wrong. Did. And we he know is better going than that. He is going to like you know we 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 tend to think like Bruno Lars has been in this job for a, a long time and in English football for a long time. He hasn't. There, there are going to be occasions when he does get it wrong, and I think we need to cut him a little bit of slack. Well, to yeah. be honest, this season we should have. He probably should have got it wrong more often, but because he hasn't. Yeah, I agree. We're all on board with this. You know, and he's doing great. So, it's in the, I always say that, like, look at the bigger picture. But yeah, can we can we allow him tonight? In a sense, because well, because we're we are. he's done so well. Like, we, like he's 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 done he's done really well with the um, the people at his disposal. If you're playing Luke Kundal, um and then you you bring in Campbell on, mm. like these are these are babies, man. These are like, I, I think I think. It's it's hard to give him that much grief. The yeah. the issue I have is not he's not 
the the team that he picked because who else was he going to play? My issue was the way we implemented the game plan. Yeah, and it, it was just we, we just didn't have one. We we sat back and we invited pressure and we invited pressure. Um, but I, I just wanted us to be a bit more enterprising and entertaining. Like if we would have lost one nil and it would have been you know oh man end to end stuff you know we were a bit unlucky. Like, I could have coped with that, but it was it was a surrender. Like we surrendered. Like we, yeah. we, there was no fight. There was no ideas. There was nothing. And it was like poor. it was just like we didn't want to be there. And and also we can't blame the ref. Like that was no. a penalty. It was a penalty. And well, we had was... a very favourable VAR decision go our way. So we can't blame anybody but ourselves. Like we we were really shocking tonight. And if we play like that till the end of the season, we won't pick up a point. Yeah. We just won't. Um I think I think that defensive wise, Max Kilman was at fault for the goal that didn't stand. Like th- this playing out from the back is fine, but we're so slow on the ball that they're just telegraphing it. Yeah. And and against the better teams, we're gonna get punished. Really, really punished. Um like Alex, let's go with Alex Harris. <clears throat> the bottom one, yeah. Would you be disappointed now if we not finished in the top seven, even though we had a great season? If we uh, don't finish in the top seven. I, well, we're not, we, I don't think we will. We won't um, finish in the top seven. I, I just don't think we will. Um, I, I think whether we come eighth, ninth, tenth, we've still had a great season, in yeah. fairness. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you stand back and look at it, it as we've said before, against Arsenal um, and against Leeds, we've got a chance to do something yeah. really special and we've 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 copped it up we've definitely copped yeah. it up now yeah. so it's that kind of repetitive um this always happens kind of thing yeah i don't know it it, it it then goes back to investment in the squad and should we shouldn't we have and we always sort of like stick up for the, the transfer policies and what folks are doing I, I stand by that really it's just it as a as a just purely with your fan head on it is it's just disappointing. I completely agree. Um, but in the I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's all good. Yeah, uh, one eighth, bad performance doesn't tenth. make a season, does it? Yeah, eighth, ninth, or tenth. It's like it's by the by, isn't it? Really, like if you're not getting European football, you want top te- top ten. So eighth, ninth, or tenth. Like obviously, you want to be as high as you possibly can. But we ain't getting seventh now. There's uh, there's no no chance. Um, which actually, kind of takes a little bit of pressure off the team uh the fans i think i think we just uh, got to try and enjoy the last what is it six games and just yeah watch us compete and just watch and watch see how we get on and... i just want us to win more this season than we lose and i think yeah. like if we if we do that then i think it's been a decent season and it's close it's like i think we've we've won 15 how many have we won we've won we've won 15 Okay. Lost thirteen or something, something like that, isn't it? Um, so who's up next? We got we got Brighton next, I think. Brighton next. So it's a bit of a break now. Is it internationals or? Surely not. Surely there can't be another it's a break. Let us know um, if you know in the comments. Is it a break now? Because I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure we've got like two weeks. Really? Now. I th- yeah. I th- unless I've dreamt it. <laughs> I'm sure there's let a us, break let us now, guys, because um, yeah, I, oh, God, I, I think we need a break. Well, I, yeah, it could do us good, I suppose. But it, you know, six games left. It's just problem, about the problem we've competing got is, to the end. Of it. It's like when once you take players like Pedence out, when you take players like even Dendonka, um, I think. And Raul Jimenez, like tonight, might have been a game where he would have got chances um, a bit more than what Silver had. Um, just our set plays were terrible as well. Like everything about oh, it. Our set pieces are awful. Right, they, they have been for a while. 
looks like so bad that I don't get that at all. I can't remember the last time he scored from a set piece. Yeah. Like every time we get a free kick, it should be exciting for us. <laughs> it's just really not. Like Neves, I'm just, I'd like I miss Neves out. Well, Neves ain't gonna play for the rest of the season. We've got we've got six games left and we've got Burnley, Brighton, Norwich, and then we've uh, well, we've got Chelsea, Liverpool, City. So you've got three games that you sh you think that you should be winning, and three games that you probably think that we should be losing. So I, I don't know, but who knows? You know, that, it never works out that way. No. Um, but I just I just want us to. We've got fifty nine points to beat. We, we've got ten points to go, and I, can you see us getting ten points in those six games? I bloody can't. Well, you know, if you're basing it on tonight's performance, no, but if you're basing it on the season's performances and, you know, I don't know when Nevers is going to be coming back or if him and Nevers will come Nevers back. Nevers won't come back. No. You'd like to think him and Nevers will be back. Then, will he be yeah. in a wolf shirt again? Well, time will tell, mate. Would you but... take 100 million for Nevers? Yes. That was what was, that was, what was uh, priced by Bruno Lage. Would you take a hundred million pounds, everyone, for Ruben Neves? Yeah, I think you've got to. Uh, I read a good piece um, <coughs> article this week. I forget who, who it was by. I'll try and find it. But mm. and it was, you know, basically like football changes and evolves all the time. Every yeah. couple of seasons, you have to lose stuff that you've loved. And if if somebody wants to pay that sort of money for Ruben Neves, you've got to go and invest in the future or just go and invest again and keep evolving. So, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Well, what, what would you I, do? I think we've seen the uh, Neves play his last game then. If that's the case. Um, okay. I don't think we'll see Neves play for us again, um, which would be sad. But if I, I completely agree with you. If somebody comes in with that kind of money, then I, I, I don't think Fosen are going <clears> to <throat> say anything. Other than yes, please. Twenty uh, fourth of April. Thanks, Luke. Uh, next game because um, the City game got moved. Um, yeah, because we play thirty two. We've played the most games yeah, of anyone but, in the league, so yeah. that makes sense actually. Uh, so twenty fourth. What, what are we on now? Oh, sixteen nice. days. And that's another frustrating thing, mate. Like, if you've got that much of a break, why are you playing like you're on forty percent battery? Like, uh, yeah. They should have gone hell for leather tonight. And just it's, it. it's, it's a disgraceful performance, actually. It's disgraceful. It's, it's terrible. Knowing that that break's coming, yeah, makes it worse, doesn't it? Absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah, they should be ashamed of themselves. They absolutely. should have run themselves into the ground tonight. Yeah. Um, There's no running... Uh, Matinho run himself into the ground. That's the only yeah. player. Everybody well, he's the only one who deserves a holiday, to be fair, because yeah. the, the last two games has been absolutely phenomenal. But the difference... In the players around him from one week to another is he must be, Staggering, he must be in there just like what the hell are you doing yeah, like, yeah i completely agree i, I don't like, think what he would be i would be ashamed to go in the changing room with him i would i'd be like mate i'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry alex alex harris said so what would be your team versus brighton um well, Not everybody's that. fit after 16 days, except for Neves, obviously, because it's a longer-term injury. Um, I would... I'd probably bring Saïs in. Yes. Um, for, for Max Kilman. Um, I, think, I, I think Max Kilman has had a decent season, but I think he's 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 really gone downhill recently. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, I, I think his wayward passing was not good. So I'd play. Um, I'd still play Bolly, Cody, and um, sorry, this is a three. Um, I would definitely give Aitnery a run out. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, if I'm being honest, I I'd give Samedo a run out as well because I, I think just to change know, it up, just to change it up. And and Johnny didn't have a great game tonight. Like nobody did. Nobody had a great game no. with, uh, then. Matinho, who didn't actually have a great game, he just he was a six, and everybody else was a three. Um, so I'd play Samedo and Aitnery for Brighton, mix it up. Um, on we we have no choice but to play Dendonka and Matinho. Hopefully, if Dendonka is fit enough to play, 
Yeah. Um, and I'd definitely start Neto. Definitely start Neto. Um, and I'd hopefully have Pedence, Neto and uh, Raul Jimenez. So... So you've, you've, you've seen the light now? No, I haven't seen the light. <laughs> it can't be any worse than what Silva was tonight. It can't be. It's impossible. Yeah. We need it's a striker. It's we need such a shame. Like, everybody was saying, you know, get Silva to start tonight. Give him his yeah. chance. Like, yeah. get him in. And, and he goes and does that. And you're just like, what I know. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I am Griffiths. Happy for finishing above Villa. It's no, not a cup, though, is it? It's because like, it's not about that. It's not about will, that. I think that's... Um, that's an old way of thinking, really. I, mm. I, I don't. Not, but I like bothered. I don't, I, I don't care bothered. where they are. Um, mm. Obviously, yeah, it's I, nice for a bit of bragging rights, but we know that we're better than them anyway. Yeah. Well, we're we, we, and away. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they're not even yeah. in our, our thoughts and shouldn't be really. I don't think. Right. Well, moment. not at the moment. But yeah. Yeah. There's uh, like uh, we're gonna make this a short one, guys, because I don't think there's there's that much more to say about it. Um, yeah, let's go away. Enjoy the break. <laughs> just... Enjoy enjoy the break. Like, Forget that really, this happened. Yeah, and and just start again. Six games left. You know, eighteen points up for grabs. Um, thanks, Ian. Cheers, mate. We now know that it's the end because uh, we've got the job. Um, <laughs> Shall I let you read it? Yeah, man, let's do it. What's the difference between a Scotsman and Walt Disney? A Scotsman wears a kilt, and Walt Disney... <laughs> wow. And Walt Disney. <laughs> wow. You know wow. what? I, I said it wrong. And Walt Disney. Disney. And Walt Disney. I'm going to do it again. What's the difference between a Scotsman and Walt Disney? A Scotsman wears a kilt and Walt Disney. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. That's How's it. that better? Uh, cheers, slightly, um, slightly. guys. Let's let's cheer up because we haven't got to put up with that crap for 16 more days. We've got two uh, two weeks off, um, and we're still eight. Come on, let's uh, keep the faith. But my God, something's got to change. <laughs> That was bad tonight. That was it bad. was bad. It was it bad. Was so bad. bad. Pulling no, no more Friday night games, please. Please, no, no, no. No <laughs> more Friday night games. No, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> uh, the complete opposite of Leeds, where like we should have scored 12 goals, and tonight we, we well, we shouldn't have even got in their box. We were so poor. Um, anyway, guys, uh, yeah. Um, have a yeah, lovely, right. lovely break. Our next one, obviously, will be the Monday after the 24th, which is the Brighton game, I believe. So, fingers crossed we can play better, get three points, and uh, just keep on riding this roller coaster of a season. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All right, mate. Let's see race tonight from our memories. See you later. <laughs> see ya.